everyone in this video we'll be talking about semaphore so as part of assignment number two there are a lot of questions which are based on semaphore and uh, involves going deep into the code so this video will give you a brief overview of what semaphore is how it works what are some of the applications and a brief demo of authentication made using semaphore so there are already a lot of resources provided with the assignment too which will help you answer these questions all right so what is semaphore so semaphore is basically developed by barry whitehat harry roberts and kobe gurkan and they are part of applied zkp applied zkp is funded by ethereum foundation and it's heavily focused on zero knowledge proof technologies building on top of Ethereum. So their core focus is to build zero knowledge proof based dApps and utilities on top of Ethereum. First, I will give you a brief definition and then we'll go to the official definition of what Semaphore is. Set of tools that forms a system that allows an authorized user to act on certain information without revealing any information about the user. A user is trying to convey some message over the uh, internet or over you can say a web3 without telling anything about who the user is and uh, where it come from without revealing any passwords without revealing any identity and the official definition which i find very confusing but you need to read it like two three times to understand it it says semaphore is a system which allows any user to signal their endorsement of an arbitrary string revealing only that they have been previously approved to do so and not their specific identity. Whenever a user is authorized to perform a certain action, so user is able to perform that certain action without revealing his identity. And of course, like in a system like this, there are a lot of applications which can be derived. User can do signaling anonymously user can vote on certain polls without revealing who they are user can prove that they are a member of certain group set or certain communities without revealing their actual identity and this can also be used for anonymous authentication across web 2 web 3 platforms and then there are mixers like tornado cash which is part of this assignment and there's already a video separate video for tornado cash so let's understand now how semaphore works uh, considering the use case of signaling. So in case of signaling, a user will have to prove that user is authorized to do the signaling and the signal what he is trying he or she is trying to do is unique and can only be done once. So let's see how this will work with respect to implementation. So there are certain things that we will achieve using smart contracts and there are certain things that we will do such as verifying and generating the proof using circum circuits. So on the smart contract side, user will first have to register themselves, not exposing their identity, but just the hash of the identity. And the other thing would be, we will be using smart contracts to verify the proof. And we will also be storing hash of the signals so that they are not allowed to use that signal again and it can only be used once. And on the circuit side, we'll have to prove that user is part of the certain identity set without revealing the actual identity of the user. So we will have certain private inputs and public inputs. So private inputs will consist of identity nullifier, identity trapdoor, path indices, and tree siblings. So identity nullifier and identity trapdoor, this forms a unique identity of the user. So we take a hash of these two and we register it in the Merkle tree. And through the circuit, we will prove that user is part of the identity set, which is registered as leaves of Merkle tree and we will recompute the root and match it with the root which is provided as part of the public input and if the root matches then user belongs to that particular set consider this example now here on the top we will have a merkle root which is already computed when user registers 
first time his identity on the smart contract so we will maintain a Merkle tree on the smart contract side and now let's assume that there are four users who which have already did register their identity commitments and these are at the leaves of the tree now if user b wants to prove that is part of this membership set in the circuit we will hash these two and come up with this and then we will take this input which is also provided by the user and we will hash these two and we'll come up with the root and this root will be matched against the root which is provided so this forms the proof for the user that it belongs to the uh, identity set now let's consider this use case of authentication which works similar to what we have seen previously for signaling now in this use case uh, a user is trying to authenticate on a web 2 or web 3 platform which has integrated schema 4 as authentication here what we have to prove is that a user is trying to authenticate is a registered user and given the user identity and the password is correct a user should be able to generate an hot token now in this case again there are certain things that will be achieved using smart contract and certain things that we will achieve using uh, zk part of the dap which is using circum circuits so again we will register uh, the identity commitment which is hash of the identity trapdoor and identity nullifier we will verify the proof on the smart contract and in this scenario we will uh, generate an auth token uh, which constitutes the uuid of the user which is the hash of identity nullifier and the password and similarly on the circuit side we will have certain private inputs and public inputs identity nullifier and identity trapdoor which forms the identity commitment becomes private inputs and we will provide the part indices and the tree siblings to generate and recompute the root and public input is of course Merkle root which is required to verify that the root generated is correct now let's look at the demo of how this type of authentication will work